So ever since I was nine years old, I became what I am today, a New York Jets fan. Or as I personally like to call it, 12 plus years of absolute fucking misery. I have been through trials and tribulations with this fucking team, okay? We're talking 2009 to 2011, back to back AFC championships, but no Super Bowl for the city. Fast forward then to 2016, 16 years old, junior in high school, haven't done my winter break homework yet. You wanna guess why? Because I was crying in my room because the Jets couldn't make one fucking catch that would have sent them to the goddamn wild card game. And now here we are everyone, 2022, 22 years old, and nothing's changed, we still suck. It's the Rye Guys Show. So how obsessed am I with this team? I'm in a group chat with a bunch of my friends and I just brought up about how I'm 12 and 9 when it comes to Jets games and I have every single game listed down in my notes on my phone. I sent this screenshot and then my friend responded and said, yeah, you need to get lead. As you know, the NFL draft happened back in April and MetLife Stadium had a draft party for everyone to come. Of course, it was Jets and Giants fans. Gotta share the love as always as it's New York. But there, you get to go on the field, you get to go with inside the stadium, watch the draft up on the big screen, and let me tell you, it's actually a really good time. But the number one thing that they had there was that they had autograph signings. They had Jets and Giants players there. Of course, they were unfair to the Jets fans and they made them wait in the stands in the freezing fucking cold. But hey, in the end, it was worth it because I got to meet the one and only Pro Bowl defensive tackle Quinnen Williams and I got my first ever jersey signed. And here's the picture and I'm looking at it right now. He is such a humble fucking guy, bro. And honestly, like these players like love to do what they do. They love interacting with fans. They know the business. They know the business of how to treat fans. So that's me getting my jersey signed by him. And yes, I made him laugh mid pick. I made him laugh. I went up to him and the first thing I said was 10 plus sacks. By the way, we were actually like one of the last few people in the line to get an autograph because they had to just dip out of there. And of course, to his right, that is Quincy Williams, his brother who plays linebacker. I went up to him and I gave him a compliment. I was like, dude, you're like one of the best additions that this team had like last year. And of course he was like, thank you, thank you. But dude, the whole time I had an NFL draft white t-shirt in my hand and I just didn't say here sign this for me Quincy and I felt so bad looking back at this pick because he's just looking over like damn Quinnen's getting all the love from this guy. Do you have anything for me to sign? Like, what the fuck do you want me to sign? I went back into the parking lot and a lady took it off of my hands for like 20 bucks. So I guess it was a win-win in the end. After that night, I got high. No, and I'm not talking about weed, my stoner friends. I'm talking about an autograph high. Just, you know, wanting to do it again and see what other players are out there that I can get my jersey signed from. Back in February of this year, I had my spring semester for college. And in one of my classes, you know, I'm just on my phone, on Instagram and stuff. I see that the Jets post, so I go to the comments, and who do I see there? I see Mike Carter, the running back for the New York Jets. All he puts is just a bunch of laughing emojis. I respond to him, and I go, what's good, running back one? And Lord and behold, I'm off my phone for five to 10 minutes, I go back on on Instagram and guess who responded to my comment and said coolin jit none other than the goat Mike Carter step two get his jersey May comes around what's May my birthday ask for it for my birthday list that's what I get a couple days after my birthday the Mike Carter jersey now we have one more completion in the cycle what would what would it possibly be oh well I gotta meet this guy and get my fucking jersey signed obviously that is what we're doing tomorrow we are going to Warren New Jersey we're going to the sports memorabilia place to get my jersey signed and meet Mike Carter in person and what do I want him to sign on the jersey I want him to quote the Instagram comment he gave me and put in quotes, cool and jit. That's the plan. Let's get into it, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow, the next day. Yo, what's going on, guys? We are on our way right now to the Mike Carter signing. I'm here with my boy, Brendan. 
What's up, yeah, guys? This is another huge Jets fan right here. Die hard, baby. And the hype right now is so fucking surreal and shit. We've been talking about, like, the players and how much hype there is for this season for us and how much high hopes there are. Dude, our draft class was one of the best in recent memory. Probably one of the best in the league. Our off-season signings are sick. I'm so excited to see what we got coming up this, this season. I'm, like, trying to think of, like, how I'm going to approach Mike Carter. There's this kid in an Elijah Moore video where he went to go see him, and he fucking, like, walked up to him, and he started shouting. He was like, yeah, what's up, bro? Like, while holding a fucking pizza box in his hand. <laughs> and he puts it down on the autograph table and stuff like that, and he daps him up and shit like that. Am I going to come different and, like, just fucking dap Mike Carter up and have that energy, or am I going to be, like, cool, calm, and collected? I really don't know right now. Well, I think I'm going to walk up and I'm be like, yo, this is the best, this is my RB1 right here, the best Mike Carter on this team. <laughs> Just dab him up, make him laugh a little bit, have him sign some things, and think, think all my way. I really, I really might tell him I might take him in fantasy over Bruce Hall, bro. I really <laughs> yeah. might. I really fucking might. Be like, yo, don't, don't let me down, bro. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> How far are we? Yeah. We are 30 minutes away. Um, 30 minutes away. I made, I already made two wrong exits, so <laughs> this is great. It's good, Mike. Yes, sir. No way. All right, well, appreciate that. Dude, I appreciate it. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, yep. you want to take a picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, back. Guys, it fucking happened, bro. I got it signed, and here it is. I got cool and jit on the back. Dude, this is actually like really insane. Dude, if you see in the video, he pulls away his phone for one second. He took a picture of the of the jersey of him saying cool and jit on the back. And I don't even know what he's gonna do. I don't know if he's gonna save that. I don't know if he's gonna like post it. But yo, he actually took a picture of that That's shit. sick. This is insane, bro. This is insane. Great guy, man. Really humble dude. And we just had an overall great time. This this place is awesome. Come here, Sports Minded Unlimited. Great place. We were literally 15th or 16th in line. Mm -hmm. Such a great deal. Not even that packed. It was awesome. This is this is crazy. This is awesome. Dude, I'm so starstruck right now that that even happened. I dap him up first. And I start to pull out the jersey. And I'm like, hey, man, listen, I love what you bring to this team. And I respect you so much for that. He goes, thank you. I appreciate it. And then he starts to sign his name on the jersey. And that's when I'm like, all right, I got to pop the fucking comment thing now. So I go ahead and I say, listen, I know you get like a lot of comments on IG. And you probably reply to a lot of people. So you don't remember this. Back in February, you actually replied back to me. And that's when I turn my phone toward him. He takes my phone, he starts reading it, and he starts laughing a little bit. He turns to his agent, who's like young as fuck by the way, he's like the same age as Mike Carter. And his agent starts to fucking read out loud the thread. And then at the same time, they both say Mike Carter's reply, cool and jit. Literally at the same time as each other. What a surreal experience today. I want to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this was your boy Rye Guy. And... I'm out. Myself as most right, getting guys. drunk tonight. Bitch. <laughs> 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 Rye guy got the most fucked up tonight. Yo, yeah.